Hey folks, this is Rick Lamont, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Life is Strange True Colors. This is my part one of chapter four. And let's see, the heater uh, kicked on today. It's been really cold, and all that dry air is playing merry hell with my sinuses. So um, I'm double fisting tea. I've got my cup of tea right here. And a cup of hot apple cider because, yeah, it's kind of cold and kind of miserable. And uh, let's see, I have box of tissues. This is Life is Strange. Um, depending on how long the tea holds out, I may either cut this short or pause it in the middle at some point to go get some more. We'll see. And, um, Anyway, um, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really excited. And, uh, wow, let's see. Uh, the LARP was great, a lot of fun. Um, of course, it ended on kind of a down note with uh, the sirens. And, uh, wow, Charlotte. Um, not surprised, not surprised. Um, saw it coming and it was even more brutal than I ever thought um, friendship with Steph's with friendships with Steph and Ryan are going great a little bit of flirting with Steph uh, that may be going someplace um, I know Ryan is an option you know as much as I've avoided spoilers <laughs> yeah okay Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this going. Ooh, that's almost too bitter. And the tea bag's out. Flicker, chapter four. Okay. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. Yeah, Pike's not doing anything. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract <laughs> mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Hey, look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Hmm. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Uh, for now, we're going to look around and... Oh, that's a cute outfit. Ah. Looks like the festival is already we still may in change. full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. Oh. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going to sleep instead. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. The sword of dust and daylight, teenagers only. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I used to, um, be so good at Minesweeper. I had the strategy. And of course, in, I don't know, Windows 8, Windows 10, they completely ruined the game. It's so sluggish. Um, I just had a strategy that would clear a lot of the board. It had a high failure rate. And then I just got to where I could recognize patterns. And um, I'd usually do it on the easy because um, 
you could get re ludicrous times, and, you know, I was sub-second on clearing it. I mean, seriously. Just do-do-do-do-do. Bam. What a waste of my life. One day I'll organize this stuff in here. Today is not that day. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. In the fridge. Please just put it in the fridge first. Yeah. Ooh. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. Yep. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Ah, someone gave him a rose last year or something like that. We know this. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. If you wait long enough, they get totally corroded shut, and then you need someone who knows what they're doing, because, yeah. Um, more life hints from Rick Lamont. Subscribe. Pants. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. I wish I could have helped Char, but taking her pain away didn't feel right. Straight up. Yeah, I totally... It was the less popular decision, but... Um, let me check levels. Move the mic a little closer. I hope that improved things. I'm about ready to start my own list. Yeah. Staffel. Okay, time to head downstairs. Okay, Eleanor wants to know if we're going and we're saying yes. Um, uh, Ethan. Oh. Uh, okay, Thane, uh, Ethan's working on the next Thanor comic. He finds a gate to the underworld and fights the king of demons in the first page. Someone's got some ambitions. KRCT Radio. Kind Haven listeners, we are now live at the Spring Festival. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. Awesome, sweet. And make sure to stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have something special brewing. Wink, wink. Oh, shit. I feel a concert coming on. They're not going to make Alex perform, are they? They're going to make Alex perform. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Steph Gingrich. Huge shout out to everyone who helped with the LARP. I think we really helped to boost Ethan's spirits and had a great time, too. I had a blast. Me, too. We should do it again. Splendid work. Is that what it was? Still banned. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for another excellent Spring Fest chili cook-off. My mouth is still burning. Killer chili, Mike. Remind me to get the recipe for the lantern, you wish. I am so full. Guess the festival started a while ago. Okay, chili, beer, and jelly beans. The ingredients for another great festival. Everything is so not fine. Ooh. Now, what's up with Mike? He's kind of... I don't know. Heard some kind of commotion coming from the Silver Dragon when I was walking to the festival. Everything okay? 
Charlotte. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything is not fine. Okay, I think things are not going to go well with the sheriff. I think he's going to return the stolen or found property and not do any investigating. He's not that he's in the pocket of um, the mining company, but he's a little spineless. At least that's my interpretation now. I reserve the right to change my mind. Shoo shoo. Will you be my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? I mean, we have to look at outfits, but this is really cute. No. I, I mean, hot dog man, you know, iconic. The tights are cute. Um. She's good. Uh. <laughs> Jane Doe. Wow, that does not look familiar at all. Oh. Mm. Kind of like the first. I mean, we've been doing a cat theme so far. Uh, the cat. I like the purple. I like. I like the purple. Um, and cats. Cats are good. Um, cats are great. I really like my cats. Okay. But the skirt is cute. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Okay. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better. And we have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores, but with ice cream on top. Uh, secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard. And I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees! Thanks, Alex. Ethan. So, I was under the impression he was just, like, going to his dad's for the weekend or something. But it sounds maybe like it's for the summer. Because it's, um, what, by now late May? So, yeah, it could be the end of the school year and he could be, um, you know, doing the whole uh, divorce parent swap household thing. Upstairs. I should really head down to the park. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, can't go upstairs. Bard hat. Alwyn the bard will ride again. <laughs> Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. <laughs> nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. <laughs> I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Yeah, Alex is playing. Text me when it's ready. It's 
if I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Hmm. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. <laughs> Typhoon Mining. Happy Spring Festivals, Haven Springs community. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. The poster has disabled replies. Yeah. I mean, that's not, that's not a stupid thing to do. Oh, it's a happy drum kit. Drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Two faced bitch. Hey, Alex. I wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. This is Diane. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciated our conversation earlier. It was great getting to know you better, smiley face. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual, smiley face. Yeah. Is that a bouncy house? Ryan's always been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? Hey, how's it coming? Oh, good. I'd say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. Okay, I like Ryan. 233. 234. Oh, the no. jelly beans are okay. The red one was 234. Wait. Damn it. One, two, three. No, he's trying to figure it out. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jellybean Lady. That's not right. She looks awfully smug for a Jellybean Lady. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? You can go right after this determined young man. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got oh. lost. So, oh, so I thought I could get her we a have bunch to of help. treats, which is really embarrassing. Saying it out loud, not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. <laughs> I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. Okay. I can't zoom in, but, uh, yeah, she looks a little afraid now. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Okay, making the round. Oh, it's the town. Wow, this is a beautiful model.
It happened last year. Yep, I remember it clear as day. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. Uh. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. Okay. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, him. mind you. Despite my occupation. I love that the Spring radio station Fest broadcasts live from the park. From the land right? We all it agree. almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. <gasps> oh! 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 Hi, oh! Val. oh. Oh. They even looped you into participating, huh? Valkyrie! See, aren't we glad we wore our, our cat shirt? We are glad. The Black Beast of, of P. Oddly's Traveling Circus. Oddly's cir Traveling Circus and its crown jewel, the Black Beast, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 1940s before P. Oddly's untimely demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill-fated performance lingered in Haven's history for decades after, and whispers of the beast remain even today. The crown jewel of Oddly's traveling, traveling Circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic color variant of Pantera Onca. Uh, witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species, giving its large size and unnatural longevity. Uh, the Black Beast was scheduled to appear at the show in Haven Springs on July 27th, 1944. That night, an incident during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and the adventurous at heart still report seeing, uh, still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainsides of Haven Springs. Presented by the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. Most frightening specimen indeed. Oh. Was this the student who we uh, found the song for? I get the feeling she's really enjoying herself. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. I'm an autumn kind of guy, but I would take a spring night like this any day. So wonderful. Can we? But anyway, he comes racing. What? No yep. marshmallows? Come on. A oh, little zen moment. Let's do it. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. The wheels on the bus, they go around and around. The autumn leaves, they keep falling down. And I find a feel, I found a place where I'm at home with my heart again. I could really use a vibe like this. It's just... The simplicity, simplicity and the community. And everything's okay for a few hours. Yeah. It's nice. 
Life is Strange games really know how to put in these moments where no matter how tense things get, how explosive, how emotional, you can just decompress and just breathe. I don't know of any other game series that really gives you this. Well, I'm sure there are, I'm sure I do know of some, but I just can't think of them. Just to be. Okay, enough of that. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Riley. Where is she? I just want to wanted to take a second and say how lucky. Okay. The heat really helps. I just wanted to take a second to say how lucky. <laughs> I just wanted to take a second to say how wonderful Haven really is. Nights like this remind me how lucky I am to call this place home. No place will ever come close. Ryan, Smiley, Eleanor, Riley. I'm really bad at that. I need to take lessons. Things to do. Explore the festival. Notes to self. Find the roses. Last, bas uh, last baskets of roses. Okay. I think I've made my mind. I know there's no wrong answers as far as the roses go. And I bet I don't even have to give one away. Because it's okay. It's okay. To, you can live your best life shared with friends, family, um, people you care for without having any romantic entanglements. If that's that's how you want to be. Um, you don't always need to have that kind of attachment at all times. You are a complete person. And your worth is not valued by who your romantic partner is. Your worth is valued because you are a worthwhile person. And let's I'm go sure see what Jen's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Didn't we say hi? Maybe not. Haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off than before. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. Oh. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. <laughs> There's the Mac I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. <laughs> you too. <laughs> What a jerk. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Okay. Oh, I think we just looked at Jed and did a little... Um, there he is. 
Jesse on our list? No. Maybe that was just, uh... Let's say hi. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. It's and been the a hell of a bastard month. is so drunk but he this forgot he doesn't know makes how to it swim. All worthwhile. So Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. Okay, how do I talk to him? Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land. Ice luge. So then, where's the after party this year? After the world's most party? unnecessary vodka delivery <laughs> system. <laughs> Young man like yourself, you must know There's what no the house is. There's no way to sample everything on this Honestly, table. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. We can have Colin in a night soon. My goodness. What is this oh, town coming to? Mr. Lantern. You I love what you've done with the spring with festival bar. wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. God. Must have been I pretty wild back in your day. Right. Oh. oh, my no. day. I'm talking what about happened last to Riley? Year. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was oh. supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure. Of course. I'll try my best. Riley's awesome. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I better get going. Okay. Plan is go. Distract, distract. Ryan, everything's set. Meet me at the stage. On my way, Steph. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. You too. I better head back. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Okay, Clara. Find the roses. Young farm me, <laughs> elvish countryside. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. I mean, do we have to go back into town? No alcohol behind this point. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. 
Are they at the flower shop? No, mom, it's not our number. Uh oh. Typhon is not normal. I made a oh. mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. Yeah, he sees it. Grand opening tomorrow. Gotta pull my Free shit together for this grand for opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. Lots of people still hanging out. On Main Street tonight. I could go back and get a rose for Steph or Ryan. Is it our cart at the festival grounds? Yeah. Still wish I could jump. No, just boom. And then do you know, a little parkour off the bench. It's amazing how much time I spend jumping in video games. Even unnecessarily. Oh! What are you so happy about? Been a while since I've seen you smile like that. We are ice cream exactly. geniuses. That we dragon run this shit. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. Clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. I can't stop thinking about it. That's sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench just to be safe. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Specimen indeed. Talk to Ryan and find the roses. My bad. There's no graceful way to sample everything on my bad. My bad. Hmm. There's no graceful way to sample everything so on this because table. I'm... Is there? Okay. This puzzle should not be so hard. They should not be hiding such a you know an item that they've promoted so hard should they oh here we go apple bobbing you doing this takes a certain type of person and i am not that person i mean i can see the fun at some point oh let's go for a drive. random atv parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people what could go wrong? Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Okay, we've talked to Mac. I mean, I feel bad. He's... I mean, he's a complete jerk, and he's got a mouth that is going to get him in trouble. Oh. 
How did we pass by? Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. You know, Max got a mouth that is destined to get him in trouble, but just because you can't shut up, just because you can't control your impulses, doesn't mean you'll do the you won't do the bare minimum. You know, you won't do your job. Maybe if I he could did. give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Okay. Final decision. Final decision. No, oh, this is so hard. Okay, he's wearing blue and black. We would look okay together. I know that's the most super superficial thing is who'd we look nicest with? Oh hell. We love Steph from the from uh, before the storm, and that will never change. I mean, Ryan is awesome. Ryan is totally bay, but this is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. There were no wrong choices. There were no wrong choices. I feel good about whatever choice I made. Uh, and I, I stand by my choice. And if I chose Ryan, I'd stand by that choice. They're both wonderful people. And let's see, he was over here, wasn't he? He was at the switchboard. Oh, right by the rose cart. <laughs> oh, dear. Talk to Ryan. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? <laughs> Told you. Told you. Steph. As long as it's not a mini game. Please, please don't be a mini game. Who else is playing? I hate you both. Smash we cut. We didn't want you to wuss Great out. Great smash cut. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Mm. Um... We've never played together before, and... Uh... <sighs> anyway... Sorry if this sucks. Fuck it. <laughs> the violent fans. <laughs> when I'm walking, I'm strong, I stop, and I'm so strong now. I'm high as a kite, and I just might stop to check you out. Let me go on. I like that Mr. Inside. Let me go on. Big hands, I know you're the one. 
and I strap my stuff and I'm so strung out I'm high as a kite and I just might stop to check you out Let me go on Best video game ever. Seriously, this game cannot get... Uh, well, yeah, it can get better. Oh... Charlotte looks so lost. I know I did the right thing, but did I do the right thing? I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were going to be best friends. <laughs> I wish... I know. Me too. It's Charlotte that gets to me. If you must wow. Wait, do it right here in my bed as I sleep. If you must mourn my love, mourn with the moon. Stars up above If you must mourn Don't do it alone Oh If you must leave You okay? No. But... Well, you know. I'm gonna go home. Hey, come meet me on the rooftop. Sure thing. So Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Okay, wait. That was so awesome, though.
such a great song such a great version of that song I am officially okay from the first moment I've I've been in love with this game I was in love with this game before it came out just because I knew what deck nine was capable of and I knew they wouldn't disappoint because I know what this series is about and wow Ugh. Not tonight. You know, I'm so horrible at finding objects that you can mood in on and forgetting to like the dollar bill in the last episode i totally missed it in, until i was editing i kept looking at it it's like why is there a dollar here hmm uh you said you have some news i'm leaving i'm actually leaving haven springs can you believe it Back on the road again! Fucking finally! Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want! God, I forgot how fucking good it feels! They can both be true. You can be sad about it. But also be happy for someone. Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? What if you infiltrate a group of Massachusetts bros? Hang out in a dank bar until two, shouting go socks at the TV? You know what? Yeah, that sounds wicked rad. <laughs> Get real tough and edgy, really integrate into the whole scene. You start challenging dudes twice your size to drinking contests. You never lose, obviously. I think we know a different Massachusetts. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. It was like with Izzy when Steph decided Look, to stay. I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Oh, 
Well, this didn't go the way I had hoped. I mean... Romance never does. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. My heart hurts. Because I don't think Alex wants to leave. At least, not yet. She's found... Finally found a home. Even... As much as has happened here, she's... She's got her home. She's got some place where she can finally... Stay a bit. Hey, Gabe. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. My heart is totally breaking. I mean, there are no promises with anything, but it does mean there aren't hopes and dreams and aspirations. And when you finally take a chance, and things only go partly your way, like, Alex and Steph do clearly really like each other a lot. And that doesn't mean anything long term. But now Steph is thinking of well, leaving. And so suddenly all the possibilities simply become less possible. Um, I mean... Maybe Alex will surprise me and want to take up life on the road, but I don't, she's in kind of the opposite situation that Chloe was in before the storm. Chloe was ready to get out because it seemed like her life was falling apart where Alex's life is finally coming together despite all the loss. You know, um, Alex and Chloe both lost 
the most important person in their life. And now they're finally not finding substitutes, but finding other people and letting them in, letting other people into their life. And already, is that falling apart? I don't know. Uh, how, how would things have played out had I given the rose to Ryan? Because I, I don't see him leaving, but maybe he would have opportunities elsewhere. Maybe this sort of decision is inevitable. Maybe you... have to stay someplace safe or or travel is it is it um is there an inevitability i i mean i don't think so but oh Alex. Yeah, this is going to go poorly. Do you speed drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Yep. Alex. Don't make this hard. Saw that coming. Oh, maybe Typhon will make things so hard that she'll want to live. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? No, I know what. I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? <clears throat> the long and short of it is. Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are Don't you talking about? Us. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. Best the efforts. came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. 
Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. At some point, you can it's only cooperate for so long. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, it's not an option. Ooh, can we manipulate it? What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Oh, they're going to say she's basically crazy. Okay, let's go back. Chen, Alexandra, brother Gabe, died in an accident. Intel shows subject to have high level of determination and efficacy. Negative affectation has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Oh, please. Also appears to be have possession of confidential data and information. That's true. The photograph is fun. Threat priority one, immediate action required. Okay. Began following subject after meeting with Mac Loden. Subject met with man identified as Ryan Lucan. Little less of note. Subject spent three hours in apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon's history and legal litigation records. Spoke with client in the Black Lantern as stolen. The thumb drive. Um, Ryan Lucan, close friend, died in an accident. Assisting Alex with her efforts. 
involved in and extremely distraught over accident, has high level knowledge of both geography and residents of Haven. Threat priority one, immediate action required. And Steph, close friend of Gabriel, of Gabe Chen, died, who died in the accident. Uh, assisting Alex has proven resourceful and dangerous. Threat priority two, immediate action recommended. So they're going to go after is everyone. This a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, You got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. <clears throat> but it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. I want to hurt Typhon so bad, but can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Okay. Pike is trying to pressure you into something that he thinks is wrong. But, I mean, he's afraid both for Alex and friends, but also for himself. This is mu as much about himself as it is about anything else. Yeah, signing the affidavit would make the whole thing go away, but it would make the whole thing go away. Um... think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Both are good answers, have courage, I mean... but this makes it personal for Gabe. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Maybe Steph's plan isn't so bad after all. 
Not a lot of mining in Salem, Massachusetts. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, we are in um, about an hour and 15. Uh, it's Huh, okay. Um, okay. Well, that was, um, that was eventful. That was stressful. Uh, I didn't think Pike would be cooperative. I'm not surprised that Typhon went, uh, went in hard. I'm sad that Steph is thinking about leaving so soon. Um, I don't think Alex is ready for it. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's fair to assume that Alex would want to. I don't think that's uh, fair at all. You know, I mean, absolutely, Steph. You know, should follow her dreams. But shouldn't expect that other people share those dreams when you haven't known them for that long. And, you know, they're still in that um, had ver very early phase of their relationship. You know, they've been friends, but, you know, here's their first kiss, and it's... Um, in the same evening that, uh, yeah, I'm leaving. Um, Charlotte's doing a little better, which um, I think she needed time. She's, I mean, it will take a long time for her to recover, you know, um, never forget will never forget, but perhaps she will, it just won't, it won't be so raw, it won't, it won't burn so much. Um, I don't regret my choice to go with, um, with Steph. I, I, I wouldn't have regretted my choice had I gone with Ryan. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, I'm kind of saddened just by Steph announcing she wanted to leave so soon, but you know, that's life. Um, Valkyrie is the Black Beast um, was great. Um, the song was fantastic. That's an old blast from my past. Um, the postcard destinations I thought were hilarious um, for reasons. Okay, well, um, that was the first, first third, first half of... Um, Chapter 4 of Life is Strange, True Colors. I'll be coming back with the second part um, soon. Ah, need to catch my breath first. Um, I don't feel bad about manipulating Pike. I think... Um, He was. Af I think he was afraid to do the right thing. I think he knew what the right thing was, but um, and his fear on the surface was for Alex and friends, but deep down his fear was for himself. Well, okay. Um, I hope you found that as I as um, exciting, interesting. And just awesome as I did. I hope you'll join me for the next part. And, um, you know, if you liked, like, uh, subscribe, you know, the, you know the routine. 
you know the routine. And, um, well, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one. Bye.